Uh, my name is Justin, Justin Rabo. I'm a software engineer today. Um, I work in the fintech space in Europe. I'm also a DevRel engineer for a blockchain startup operating in Canada. Um, so we, we have people say web one, web two, and web three, but these are artificial con constructs. We just have the web, right? Um, but usually you have people who have vested interest in rebranding the web or in marketing the web. So web one, web two, web three, these are marketing concepts, right? But I'm going to attempt to, you know, follow the, 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 the definitions. Web one is the web, right? But it was the, the static you know, non-interactive web, where people tended to host their own servers. They hosted static content, images, text, and everything. And then if you wanted to read, you know, most 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 um, requests were read requests. So I opened a browser and then read from it, right? I mostly don't send things back to the browser, right? So the browser was giving me information, but I wasn't, you know, updating that information, right? Web3, Web3 is really connected with the perversion or per pervasiveness of JavaScript. Right at the beginning, it was mostly static, um, non-interactive protocols. Right, I could host my web, my, my 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 web page, right, according to those protocols. But my web server was not like actively connected with other web servers. Right, there was some connection, um, interaction, but it was only like user interactivity. And then we had like the outbreak of something called AJAX, and it's just asynchronous JavaScript, and we had. Um, we, we, we had to build APIs on top of it. And what is an API? An API is just like an interface for one computer to speak with the other computer and interchange data. That kind of created interactivity, right? All the things where you can, you know, tweet and post tweets and read tweets and you can build on top of other platforms and platforms can get data. You can use webhooks and all of that. All of these things, they are the, are the core idea of Web2. But what happens happened with Web2 is that, you know, we, we lost one aspect of Web3 where in the beginning, all information was decentralized, just like I described, right? If I wanted my content, I hosted it, and if I wanted to take it down, I took it down, you know? And, you know, um, there was no, you know, consolidation of every user's in information. And by the time Web2 came in, we had that network effect where if you were as big as Facebook or you're big as Google, you could commandeer an entire vertical in the marketplace because over time, and, and, and this is the thing, this is an idea that like, was actually professed by Google. Over time, the application fades away and the only thing that matters is data, right? So your, your application and your business logic gets cheaper and cheaper every day, which means that anybody, you, technically, you could build Google's UI, right? You could build a search engine. You could even use the same algorithm, like Google could open source its algorithm for building, for indexing searches and give it to you, and you will never outcompete Google. The reason is that that, date, that logic has been trained on data that you will never be able to reasonably collect because Google has been collect this, collecting this for decades, right? And so that causes like an outpaced um, competitive landscape where you can you cannot dethrone anyone anymore, right? And that that is non-ideal for certain kinds of players in the space, right? And so depending on who you are listening to, some people do not like the idea that they cannot um, build a Google for 2020, right? And so the idea of decentralizing um, information means that instead of Google being the 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 custodian of the world search search history the blockchain then becomes the custodian of the world search history right so all this time we've been building a bunch of before now we had people building front ends and back ends right and those back ends tend to get very powerful facebook's back end is very very powerful right it's why you can spread misinformation right it's google's back end is very powerful it's why nobody can outcompete google right and the core idea is that in Web3, people are thinking about making the back end more open in the same way the front end typically is, right? Which means that for any single kind of person, I can decide that I want to move my, I, I want to access my account information and do other things, the kind of things I do on Facebook on a different UI, right? Because that data is not held by Facebook, it's held decentralized. That's the core premise of Web3. The core premise of Web3 is that um, right now, users should be able to own their data and should be able to monetize their data. In Web2, somebody else owns your data and monetizes it via advertisements, right? And the route is that you should own your data and then monetize it via tokenization. Um, it remains to be seen whether this is an improvement, honestly speaking. Um, but I think that one thing I've always felt is like many people missed out on opportunities to contribute to the future they wanted, right? 
And for many people, this is like an opportunity for you to contribute. You can you can make outsized impact in the future of the web either way it goes by simply participating. So I think skepticism is self-defeating by by default, right? Because if you are skeptical about the web, somebody's just going to build it regardless, you know. <laughs> so might as well have a say in it. And it's why um, so the reason why I'm saying is that most people most people think that my, my politics on Web3 are like, yeah, let's build all the things. But it's, it's a little bit measured. It's actually more measured than you realize. But I think that, you know, I, I, can, I can write a bit of code, right? I'm in the Web3 space. I might as well, you know, contribute, you know. So that's, that's pretty much it.